Welcome back to another Tellius use case video. Today, we'll be taking a look at customer churn. This is a topic that matters to organizations of all sizes. Intellius makes it easy to go from data to insights in just minutes. You probably want to know, what customers am I losing? Why am I losing them? How do I stop them from leaving? Today, we're going to answer those questions with Tellius. First, we'll load our data set. We're using a credit card churn data set available for free on Kaggle. You can find a link in the description below. For any data set, it's always good to do some exploratory data analysis first. You can do this using natural language. We'll take a look at how many customers we have in this data set by typing, show me the count of clients. We've got just over 10,000 customers in our data set. I'll take a look at our field list to see if there's a churn or attrition field. Looks like this data set calls it attrition. So I'll add buy attrition flag to my search. Looks like just about 16% of our customers from this data set have churned. I want to track this churn metric, so I'm going to add it to a dashboard. It's easy to build out stories and track metrics that I care about without having to type an ad hoc question every time. This helps me to understand what the problem is and the scope. Now, how do I know why we're losing customers? What might you do today to answer this question? I know the answer to that because I was an analyst once. I drill down for every dimension possible to try to find what is driving the behavior. With Tellius, you can find what is driving behavior in record time. To do this, we'll kick off two insights right from our dashboard. These will help me to answer my questions without me needing to be a SQL expert or do those manual drill downs that we talked about. Here's our first automated insight, comparing our existing versus our churn customers. Tellius combed through all of our data and ranked the biggest differences between those existing and churn customers for us automatically. Looks like those clients with a lower average balance lower credit utilization, and lower transactions are more likely to leave us, while those customers who are entrenched in using the card frequently are less likely to churn. Now we understand why our customers are churning. They aren't using the card enough. I know that I can increase card adoption by making card offers and offering promotions, but these are expensive. How do we identify a cohort of customers to target that are most likely to churn while keeping my costs down? I can't just say everyone with a low utilization or everybody with a low transaction count. I need specific segments that will have the highest ROI to target. To do so, let's take a look at another insight that we ran. This is a key driver insight. It identifies what factors influence behavior and provides suggestions for action. This tells me what we suspected. Transactions and revolving balance are key indicators of potential churn. Tellius has also used machine learning to identify segments of customers who are more likely to churn. This segment would be really helpful to serve as my population for my card offer in order to increase card usage. How can I flag this segment so I can identify the specific people to send these offers to? Hitting Explore Segment and then Smart Insights will automatically apply a flag to my dataset. No SQL or data work required by me. Instantly, I can pull this segment flag into my VisPad that we were working on earlier, create a detailed list of client numbers to target, and send it to my marketing counterpart for a card offer campaign. That was awesome. We went from raw customer data to exploratory analysis, understanding why customers churned, and finally, identified a segment of customers that are most likely to churn and took action. With an augmented analytics tool like Tellius, I was able to do this without having to be a data expert at all. To try churn analysis out for yourself, check out www.tellius.com and make sure to check out the data set in the description below.